Hello, this is my system demonstration for introduction to data analysis. Here are the four aims we are going to cover. The use of base stats to analyse data. Discrete ETL sections to modify data such as rename, OBS to first OBS. The use of static reports and display and conclude data in a more simple format. To attempt graphical visualisation upon graphs and graphics to give a more deeper insight into what the data is telling us and to make it more pleasing on the eye. Here are the two datasets we are covering. Paper names from Scotland in 1996 and paper names from Northern Ireland in 1997. Here is the code in SAS University Edition. The data has already been imported into datasets using the code import and import one, and the ODS graphics have been turned on to give us the graphical visualization hover over for the graphs later on. First thing to note is that the, the, the rename line here, which the CSV import already changed it to boy s name to the boy's name so the simple rename back to boy's name and girl's name respectively so if we run the code from here we come to a report and from here we're going to run it in a HTML format so we start with the plot contents showing the variable different amount of variables and the observations in the data set from here we go to the work out how we do the top 50 boys and girls names in Scotland in 1996, which is OBS2 to OBS51. This gives us a more meaningful and useful chunk of data to work with instead of 2000 records as before. From here we go down to a more uh, even smaller chunk of data, which is top 20 boys and girls names in respective graphs. These are the hoverovers I was talking about before, so Andrew has 772, Christopher has 461. This instead of using the vague scale across the bottom of the graph, it gives you the exact number. This same happens on the girls' names. We go past the plot contents for Northern Ireland and we come down to the same again. First OBS is 2, OBS is 51 for the top 50 boys and girls' names in Northern Ireland 1937. We come down to the graphs again. Top 20 boys' names, top 20 girls' names with the same hoverovers instead of the vague scale along the bottom. The problem with all these four graphs is the fact that it's in alphabetical order and the only way to find out the rank order is by looking at the graph and which has the highest amount of boys or girls names respectively. So the next couple of graphs are going to have a ranking order of their position and respective to how many boys and girls were born. So here are the two scatter plots for the boys and in Northern Ireland and Scotland. We start with Andrew who has 772, a number of boys born, and we look at Andrew in the next one who has uh, 257. So it's only a decrease in four ranks over the two, year, the two uh, data sets, but a decrease in almost 600, showing that Northern Ireland has less boys born. For the scatter plot of the girls, we're going to use the top 10, which is interesting five floating up here, three floating up here, and then the massive drop. We take Amy on the first one, who has 703 girls born with that name, and we find that Amy's actually number 8 in this one with 227, showing a massive decrease in rank and records. Thank you.